Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, horror, but some other stuff as well. I've got a review for you of Silent Key by Laurel Hightower. So this is a book that comes out today, the 10th of October, um, and in my opinion, it's well worth checking out. And the reason I think it's well worth checking out is because it's a book that goes back to basics. So many horror books that I read nowadays seem to want to be kind of flashy or outrageous, to throw all sorts of different things at you. Um, And I don't think that always works. And it's certainly no substitute for good storytelling. Um, And what Silent Key has in spades is good storytelling. It's got good characters, they're well developed, it's got a decent plot, and it just all moves along very, very nicely. And it's got quite an old-fashioned feeling to it in a way. Um, but in a way that I really, really enjoyed. I've, I've talked in the past on the channel about extreme horror and how I sometimes feel like extreme horror just just goes all out to be disgusting and, and that's its, its whole purpose. And that authors can use that kind of shock value to, to hide the fact that they're not necessarily terribly good at their craft. I think for, for me, Silent, Silent Key is like the opposite of that. It's a very, very well-crafted book that manages to be exciting and scary and moving without resorting to, you know, just over-the-top grossness. So a a book I very much enjoyed. Um, And it's made me want to read more Laurel Hightower. I've read her book uh, below before, her novella, um, but I haven't read anything else by her. Um, I'll definitely be checking out more by her in the future. Um, before I talk, talk more about the about the book, let's just talk about that cover because the cover is just wonderful. I don't normally go on about the covers of, of books in my reviews, but I really do think this cover is fantastic. And it really suits that kind of slightly vintage classic vibe that, that the book has had. Uh, the book has. And when, when I say classic, I don't mean like stuffy old classic like Dickens or something like that. I mean kind of, you know, classic vintage thriller. It's got a definite kind of 60s, 70s vibe to it, partly because it's got a bit of a kind of Cold War subplot. But also, as I say, just in terms of it having that kind of classic, well-crafted storytelling vibe to it. Um, so let me tell you what it's about. So it's about a, a female cop called Cam, um, whose husband has died. Um, in mysterious circumstances and and following his death she's discovered she's discovered that he was having an affair um so she kind of enters the book in an incredibly vulnerable state which makes her a really interesting lead character so you know she's she's a cop so she's quite tough she's been you know in, in her job she's been going up against the russian mob um but at the same time because of what's been going on in her personal life she, she's really really vulnerable um and she's a she's a mother as well so she's got a young daughter and there's a lot in this book about you know motherhood parenting and things like that a, a lot of the suspense in this book revolves around her you know trying to protect her daughter um so she's in this weird situation anyway you know she she's been uh, you know knocked off balance by by the death of her of her husband and and what she's subsequently discovered about him and she goes to stay with her daughter um, and uh, a friend of hers called Dimi, who's who's like an ex-Russian mafia guy um, who she's met through her job and, and has become like her adopted brother. They go and stay at her, uh, her uncle's ranch and her uncle has also recently di- died in slightly mysterious circumstances. So they go and stay at this ranch and like weird spooky stuff starts happening. And the spooky stuff in this book is really effectively done. And it's not your um, kind of, you know, your kind of standard things going bump in the night spooky stuff. It's really, really weird and it's really effective. I thought I thought Laurel Hightower did an excellent job of kind of building that creepy atmosphere. Um so yeah, they go and stay at this ranch, weird stuff starts happening, and she also meets her, her uncle's neighbour, um, who's this kind of reclusive guy um, who's got loads of dogs, 
and she uh, I've said recently in videos that um, I seem to be at the moment quite enjoying romance books that, that involve dogs as kind of secondary characters so that that happens in this book as well so she and this guy kind of meet and you you get the impression from, you know from early on that there's going to be a romantic element as well and there is there's a really nice kind of second chance romance that that runs through this book which I found enormously satisfying and, th and that's I, I guess kind of what I mean about this book it combines so many different things that make for a good story so you know it's got it's got spooky stuff it's got um, you know it's got stuff about being a parent it's got romance and it's also got this excellent kind of vintage style thriller plot running through it as she tries to figure out what's happened to her husband what's happened to her uncle and knits together this really complex web of, of things that have been going on in the background so yeah, it's a really effective thriller that that pulls in elements of kind of espionage fiction and things like that, as well as um, the supernatural stuff, um, and just ties it all together into a really satisfying whole. It's a book that's like a perfect length. It's about 300 pages, and it doesn't waste any of those pages. There's no padding in this book. It's just solid storytelling from beginning to end. Um, as I say, I had a really, really good time with it, and if the sound of it appeals to you, I definitely recommend checking it out. So I hope you found that interesting. Do let me know if you've read Laurel Hightower in the past uh, and if you've enjoyed her work. Uh, and as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're safe and well out there. Hope you're reading good stuff and I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.